Appreciate it. Uh, I'm not sure I have, uh, I'm not interesting to last 45 minutes, but I'll try to uh, just answer really slowly. And I'm asking questions very slowly, and we'll stretch it out and make it work. Perfect. Well, there is actually a lot to talk to you about. You've been a guy who's, you know, usually when I talk to the guys I do these with, they've been hawks their whole career. So the perspective is sort of, it's only with one team. You've been you're a well-traveled guy. You've been in the Blues, you've been in the, the, uh, the Sharks, you've been around the league a lot. So one of the first things I want to ask you, I'm a little bit excited to even have the chance to talk to you tonight. Um, when, when fans look at the Hawks and they look at the way the roster is assembled, um, they think of, of Jonathan Taves already as one of the best Blackhawks ever. And in your time around the league, um, where does he compare, even this early in his career, um, it, it, compared to guys you played with, how high up the list is Jonathan Taves? That's a great question. Um, obviously, uh, what makes John unique, in my opinion, is that uh, his, his work ethic and his will is unparalleled. And um, yeah, I was fortunate. I got to play with John uh, when he was considering leaving college and uh, was uh, for the World Championships for Team Canada. And, um, he ended up making our team out of college. We're all NHL guys and he ended up playing quite a bit for our and contributed a lot and uh, we ended up winning the World Championship over in uh, Russia. And he was contemplating whether or not to uh, leave school. I think he had another year or two left. And, uh, you know, he was concerned about, you know, wanting to go back and he had lost in the Final Four. And I basically told him that there's no reason to go back to school. He's he's definitely ready for the NHL. And I should have told him to go back to school because I had to play against him for a couple of years while I was in school. So. Um, but, yeah, I think that... Uh, He's a very unique guy as a person. Uh, no one works as hard as he does. Um, he doesn't take a night off. I think that the fans here are a little bit spoiled because uh, he brings it every night. And, um, you know, I think that uh, it's the character that he is as a person that uh, makes him unique. Really um, he never stops trying to get better. As a veteran player, have you ever found it not difficult, but is it, is it a strange situation for you to have been in the league so long? And your captain is 22, 23 years old. Is that ever, you know, a guy like Taves, is it, is it sometimes harder for, maybe not you specifically, but for a veteran to sort of take leadership from a guy who's so much younger than he is? I always thought it's been a shared, a shared role. Um, obviously, John's our captain, and, um, you know, my, my advice to him is that uh, is to be authentic. That's how I try to be, is if I'm, my main concern and my main goal is to win a lot of games and to care about my teammates, then nothing you say is going to be wrong. And that's kind of the, the way I, I, I like to lead. And I, I've expressed to him several times that uh, whether or not I disagree with what he might say or do, I'll never do that for the team. I'll, I'll take him aside and, and if I have to disagree, I'll, I'll do it five But he's our leader. And, um, you know, he brings it every night, and you can't, you can't question that. Well, let's